Yes, hello. Um, yes, hello. Uh, I keep thinking of dear Roger who passed away um, at the beginning of the week and uh, I'm thinking of his friends and his uh, and his family at this time and um, yeah his funeral was yesterday and uh, yeah he was a lovely chap and I'll always remember him um, yeah so uh, what's been going on well been smoking this for the whole week I haven't really felt like smoking anything else um, it's an Orlick uh, Royal Sovereign in a it's a chocolate brown which is quite nice actually it's a it looks quite good uh, yeah this is my walking pipe uh, as in walking to work um, I take just a pipe yeah so I've just smoked this pretty much all week I know the advice um, by many people is oh you're supposed to leave it to rest but my great grandfather never never did he only had one pipe I think um, it's a big big billiard he used to uh, um, get his pen knife out and scrape out the bowl um, quite aggressively <laughs> And he only had one pipe, and I don't remember him having any others. Uh, maybe you didn't in those days. So, what's been going on? Well, uh, I'm just, this is my day off. I've had a long four days at work. Um, you know, they're not short shifts, they're 12 hours <laughs> shifts. I'm having a coffee. I wanted to refocus on the old uh, YouTube if you like because it's easy to get lost and uh, haven't got things to talk about so what I'm going to do every YouTube video I'm going to do four things pipe dip in tobacco uh, cigar of the week and um, snuff of the week so four things so what have I been smoking pipe wise whoops dear the quality still is the same though. <laughs> oh, I've just yeah, there we go. Um, Uncle Jeff sent me some Arcadian Perique. This is lovely. This is really really nice if you can get hold of it. <clears throat> of course, in the UK, this has ceased not production, but we can't get it. Uh, you can't get it from anywhere. It has to be shipped from um, outside of the UK. Uh, this is a lovely blend. It's not just Perique. When you look at it, you go, oh, blimey, that's going to be a really, really strong uh, mixture. It's not. It's really smooth. Very nice. It's got Virginias and Burleys, a uh, little bit of Cavendish, Dark Five Kentucky Orientals, and, of course, a fair amount of Arcadian Perique, and it's lovely. One of um, Tommy's favourites uh, and a few other people, they really like this. Shame we can't get it, to be honest. It's it's excellent. Um, so I've been smoking that pretty much all week. Um, I I picked up this. I cannot open it. No. Oh, this. Some Baron Burley. London blend, I don't know why it's called that, but uh, this was discontinued about I think four years ago maybe. I don't even remember trying it, but uh, I actually really like Solani's um, Aged Burley Flake. If you can get some of that, that's lovely. That's a really good tobacco. But yeah, this is, this is sold out now, so you can't get it anymore. Um, it was a Smoking Pipes exclusive. It would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> but yeah, um, people love this tobacco. Um, uh, it's got like a chocolatey top note, but not like a, you know, it's not a C and D chocolate blender <laughs> with Cavendish. It's burly with that lovely top note of uh, of um, 
kind of a chocolate casing if you like so yes 100 gram tin that came through from smoking pipes without a customs charge so you know I'm happy with that uh, so that's the that's the pipe tobacco side of things the dipping tobacco I've been dipping this which I found Timberwolf long cut straight it's not that nice to be honest it's made by um, oh, I can't see who it's made by is it the American snuff tobacco company no it's Pinkerton made by Pinkerton um, in, in Kentucky in the US and I found this the date on it is uh, 2017 <laughs> do you know what I've had dipping tobacco and chewing tobacco that's five years old before it was absolutely fine um, you know if it's sealed in this um, I, you know I don't care I'll, I'll dip it and it's absolutely fine for me we're not swallowing it are we and eating it so it's just to be dipped um, the snuff I've been enjoying is this which is so hard to find um, Wilson's of Sharrow's rum and raisin which is a lovely snuff really really Moorish um, I call it an evening snuff really or a dessert snuff um, I've got a bit left I've got quite a bit left uh, but you can't show you the lovely colours. Don't want to tip it up and lose it, but yeah, lovely. Get that lovely rum scent. Yeah, you can't get this anymore. I don't know why. I thought it was one of their more popular snuffs, but clearly not. And. Uh, Cigar wise, if you watched my previous videos, you saw that I had a little order of Cuban cigars come through the um, uh, Viguros, which are these, or Viguros. Uh, these ones, they're nice small little cigars, perfect for, you know, spring, summer, in the garden with a coffee. Oh, I love cigars. So yes, that was really, really good. Nothing else has been going on, to be honest. Um, I wanted to test and see really what it was like to smoke this for the week, um, which I've done. So uh, I can safely say, like my great-grandfather before me, uh, you can smoke a pipe for a week, one pipe. I can't remember him ever having more than one pipe. And he smoked it and reamed it, you know, regularly. I don't ever remember seeing him with a pipe cleaner, but he, he must have. Um, and, yeah, it, I mean, it's been absolutely fine. It's been great. So, hmm, lovely. A very, very good smoke. That's it really guys, uh, not much else has been going on, um, I think we've probably all been a bit, little bit down um, for obvious reasons, but uh, I hope you're all well and you know, take care of yourselves and uh, wishing you all the best. Have a great weekend, we're not far are we, what is it, Wednesday today, well we're halfway through, <laughs> two days to go. Yeah, I'm a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which is great after my long uh, stint at work. But um, yeah, hope you're all well. Take care of yourselves and look after each other. All the best. Cheers.